Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is 2 is IQJ. So here we have the mini radio. I did a review of this a few weeks back on the channel. Showed you some of the overviews and the features of this radio. In this week's video, I'm going to show you how to update the latest firmware. And I think it's 2.28 is the latest one. And the good thing about this is you need a, just a web browser. No special software needed, which means I can use it on Linux. So it's a it's a winner winner. All you'll need is just a standard USB-C cable and just the radio. And you need a Chromium-based browser. Yeah, I know I'm not a big fan of Chromium-based browsers, but it gets the job done, it gets the job done. So let's hop over on the computer, and I'll show you how to update this radio. Okay, so over on the computer, and this is my desktop wallpaper. This was taken in my back garden with a Nikon Coolpix P1000 camera. Check out the detail on that moon. Look at that. That's cool. Right, so let's get on to flashing the radio. So you need to go to this website here, which I'll link in the description below. You can just click it. It will take you to the website. You can either do it through a Windows program or do it through a Chromium based web browser, which is what we're going to do. Talking about the files there and tells you you can use Windows, Mac, Linux, and so on. It tells you how to do it all down here. If I click the firmware releases available on the GitHub, click there, it takes us to this page here. And I want latest is v2.28, tells you what's changed and so on. But you see here we've got two files, well, four files there, they're the source code. But these ones here, Atis Mini V2.28 OSPI and ATS Mini V2.28 QSPI. Which one do you download for the radio? Well, we go over to the Chromium based browser. Again, I'll link this in the description below so you can just uh, click it and it takes you to the browser. So you need to plug in your radio via USB C and turn it on. All we're going to do is just hit on connect, leave the board rate as standard, just press on connect. And here we have a list of uh, USB ports. Yours might say COM1, COM2, but because I'm on Linux, I'm going to select uh, USB JTAG serial port. I'm just going to press on Connect. And you'll see there it says connected to device SP32 S3 QFN56 uh, Rev V02. So I want to download the Q firmware from the website. And I've already downloaded that. If we go back to the Chrome based browser, we're going to go to choose a file, and we're going to. There's three files we need to download, or four files. We've got partition, merged, bootloader, and the ATS mini uh, dot bin. I want to click on merged, and press select, and the flash address is zero times zero. Now what we're going to do now is just press on program, and you see there it's going to write all the files to the merge files to the radio and it will take a few moments to do that and I'll come back on as and when it's done. Okay, it's flashed it, it says hash of data verified leaving hard resetting via RTS pin. At this point we're just going to go up and press on disconnect and there we are we've just updated the phone on the radio. Let's go and see the radio works. I'll put you back on the camera. Okay, so we're back over on the bench. Let's see if this radio works. Turn it on. Oh, we've got power, lovely. And now it's a load more options in here, apparently. Let's have a quick check of the options. Button. Memory, squelch, bandwidth. Oh, we've got a set in the menu now. I didn't think we had that before. We can change the brightness. RDS text, FM region. Got themes, sort of the themes. Oh, nice. Well, that's be all right for outside, I would have thought. Pager, oh, look at the old fashioned pager. Pan up it with the camera. Orange, okay. Like a Yesu night mode. Space. Just leave it on the default. Just leave it on the default. Menu, settings. Zoom menu, loads more different options in here. It's got Wi-Fi, got Barmy. About, if you go to about, and you get this here, it says ESP32 S SI4732 receiver and V228 is July the 1st, 2025. And you can scan that QR code that come up. But yeah, I'll be playing around with this with this new firmware and see what it can do, and I'll report back in another video. But that was how to flash the firmware with this radio. Nice and simple, no stupid Windows only tools needed doing it via a Chromium-based browser now, which is how it should be. And anyway, 
Like I say, thank you very much for watching the video. Let me know how you go on in the comments below, flashing your radio. I'll see you in another video. This is 2E0 IQJ. 73 is for now.